Python. And then it starts creating the application and it will detect uh, once it's finished that this is code and give us the nice copy button. It detects that it's Python. Hey YouTube, Consulting Joe here with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about creating your own chat GPT. So I created this application. It uses Node.js and it uses Olama for the back end, the actual AI uh, language model uh, server. And so Node.js is our uh, back end web server. And then we have the front end. So this is Olama. Uh, the actual uh, back end, so kind of create your own chat GBT. You could talk to it in this application we're going to go over, and you can also talk to it right in your command line prompt. So commands like Olama serve will start up the back end of it, but you can also run uh, Olama show, and it will, oh, uh, Olama list. And it will give you the list of server, um, excuse me, models. And so we have those. This one is very interesting, made by IBM. Uh, it's really new. It has information up to, I believe, uh, March of this year. So it's pretty up to date and it's really smart. So let's uh, jump right in. I've got the server over here and that is already started up so uh all the code is going to be available on github so check the description for that but uh we can go over it so that it makes sense uh it's going to stream our response which is pretty cool and interesting so here is the server let's pull it up localhost and here we go so we can start off by just saying hi what's your name so we've we are seeing the ibm model running but it has a system prompt where it's told that it's consulting joe and it's a coding assistant and it's also uh, able to do 3d modeling and printing and ask for more information so we can give it uh something like uh make me a cal or program in Python. And then it starts creating the application and it will detect uh, once it's finished that this is code and give us the nice copy button. It detects that it's Python. So we can copy this right from here and run it. So we can paste in code and ask it to do things to it. So if we had that code, if let's use the copy button and say, remove the uh, add operation. And then we can drop in that code or it would know the code already from the context, but let's say we give it to it. It's going to remove the add operation. And then we no longer have the choice to add. So it's pretty powerful and it's really smart and retains a context from the chat conversation. It does this, the live streaming. So you get a response right away. So you can say nice and right away uh, it, we start getting a response instantly. So this is the IVM uh, granite model, the 3.1. I'm running the 8 billion instruction set. Uh, let's see. So if we go under models, under Olama and sort by newest, we I'm using the dense one and the eight billion parameter model. So it is pretty powerful. Really? Um, so yeah, so let's see how this works. So let's dive into the code. So there's not a lot to it. If we look, here is our HTML code that creates our interface and talks to the back end and a couple libraries here to do our highlighting, uh, our markdown language stuff, um, and our streaming of the data, uh, purify. So uh, from here, we set up our HTML code and we do a bunch of stuff in our front end JavaScript 
code. On the back end, we'll go into that front end JavaScript code, but on the back end of our server, we're running our Node.js server. So what this, we're going to run Express as our main web server. Uh, we're going to need path library and then the Olama library itself. So it kind of handles the streaming and does a lot of things for us, which is nice. Cores so that we can do cross site communication and talk to the server, uh, the Olama server, and then mind types that we can detect if we're uh, sending a JavaScript um, uh, code to the front end to run so that we can set the mind type so that uh, Chrome will properly execute that JavaScript in the browser. Um, from there, uh, we set up our Express web server, make sure we've got JSON, uh, set up our public folder, and then uh, we've got some middleware to do some logging. And then we have our post uh, endpoint for chat, and that's where our chat messages come in. And this is where we can inject our system prompt. So this is where we're saying, you are consulting Joe, a coding assistant, will provide detailed and helpful suggestions for code improvement, debugging optimization. Then I added my services include blah, 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 uh, 3D printing, 3D modeling, just to kind of see how it would uh, throw that information into the mix. Um, so from there, we inject that system prompt into our messages that came into our server from when the user just sent a message. And then we, if it is streaming, which by default on the front end, we are saying that it is streaming, uh, then we set up those headers so that we are doing the streaming uh, connection. And then uh, we set our Olama chat and send the model in the messages and streaming. And from there, chunk, uh, this section, we're taking our chunks from the stream and putting that together. Uh, let's kind of run through this a little quick. Um, we are, so there's an else. Oh, so if we're not streaming, we're just waiting to get our response and then we're going to pipe that through. Um, and if there's any errors, we're going to spit that out. From there, we can do other API requests like models and just give a list of what models are available. Um, if we wanted, we can let the user choose between different models, but I've got that disabled right now. Uh, and then we can do a health check and just get an okay if everything, if the, the web server right here is running at least. And then we start the actual server. So that is the back end. Uh, I know there's a lot there, uh, but once you kind of understand it, it's pretty simple. Not really a lot. Under 100 lines of code on the back end. So uh, from there, we've got our front end. So here, we also want to look at the JavaScript here. So there's no jQuery. Everything here is plain JavaScript. Uh, so once we get our DOM ready, we get our messages and our user input and our button and we're running through here. Uh, once the user clicks the button, we uh, run the send message event or if the user hits the enter key and it's not a shift because the shift will just create a new line because, hey, we need new lines. Um, uh, from there, uh, we've got a function for fetching our models, and it goes out to Olama to get the list of the models from the Olama API, um, and then our send uh, message. So here, this is on the front end. I actually kind of did it in two places because I forgot where I was working, but this uh, message, we are adding that to the message but it would probably be more preferred to do that on the server side so that nobody on the front end could uh, alter the the prompt, the system prompt. So I'm just commenting that out for now. And then we will uh, run our request to post a chat message, and it's going to be the role of the user. And there's our message. Yes, we're streaming. And uh, so on. We get our response. And if we do get our response, 
and it is okay, then we want to handle the actual streaming response when, because it's going to take a split second for us to start thinking, and then we want to get those messages streamed right in. So from here, that is how it's done. We're getting lines and we're parsing them and parsing each line as JSON and then uh, starting to spit out the message and have it streamed into the box. All right, so um, we can kind of skip through this. Uh, we've kind of pretty much gone through the whole thing. We can play with this a little bit more. Let's say we refresh. Now we have a whole new clear context. From here, we can say, hi, what is your name? Don't give me a, any sentences. Only give your name. We want to be very explicit. Yeah. There we go. So if you like the video, leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.